First up, at least seven civilians were killed and dozens injured in security forces firing after protests and clashes in Pulmama district of South Kashmir. Protests erupted soon after an encounter in the area which three militants and an army jawan were killed today morning. One of the civilians killed is Abid Hussain, an MBA student in Indonesia. Hussain had come to his hometown in Pulwama with his Indonesian wife and a three-month-old baby a month ago. District Magistrate Pulwama uh, has confirmed that the killing of, civil, of these seven civilians and he has said in a report that the police about the incident and locals allege that security forces resorted to indiscriminate firing and a number of civilians' killings may go up. Several injured are reportedly in very critical conditions and officials say injured have been rushed to various hospitals in South Kashmir and Srinagar. Let's go across to Nazir now, our correspondent there, uh, and get more detail. Nazir, if you can tell us what is the latest on this entire incident, what more you can tell us? Well, Richa, it is a massacre. It is, you know, killing of civilians. Uh, as you were mentioning that the, how one civilian, Abid Hussain, who had come home just a month ago with his Indonesian wife and a three-month-old baby, is an MBA student. But, you know, he too has been killed number of civilian officials confirm for having killed its security force firing is seven now but it can go up the number of many injured is uh, you know you know dozens have been injured and many of them are in very critical condition who have been shifted to various hospitals what happened this morning army police and the crpf launched a joint operation uh, in kharpura village in in pulwama near pulwama it were militants were reportedly hiding in an orchard and they were killed in a brief shootout. What happened? Then one army of Jawan also lost his life in the encounter. Soon after that, there were clashes. People rushed there, and there were clashes between forces and the protesters. The uh, security force opened fire, and according to locals, they resorted to indiscriminate firing, killing seven civilians on the spot. And locals say 80 people may have been injured, but officials are saying. Dozens are injured, and I spoke to DC Pulwama. He said seven are killed, and more than 20 are injured, and said he has sought a report from the police. What went wrong? Why it happened? Such a massacre, horrible thing to happen when the government was talking. Such a peaceful election here, panchayat election, municipal election, where there was not a single militancy-led incident with regard to the election. No, you know. The candidate was targeted. It was completely 100% you know, violence free those elections. Now we have this horrible incident of violence where seven civilians are killed in security force firing. Dozens are injured and locals say the number of deaths dead may go up because number of several, several people are in a very, very critical condition. And all of those who have been killed have received bloods above waist. Uh, you know, for example, Abid, uh, who we're referring to as MBA student, he has received bloods in head and chest. That is the kind of, you know, firing. It was just shoot to kill seven civilians being killed, which was the Wazir's army, CRP of the police. Uh, officials are saying they're just investigating. They're gathering the information. So what I went wrong, though? It's not first time about, that after uh, the... As you were saying that uh, there are about seven civilians who have been killed so far. You said that the numbers could increase. So how bad is the situation right now? What are your sources on even the doctors at the hospital stating at this point? And as you said that the police have also been asked for a report to be submitted about the incident. Do you think that more can come out of this? Well, uh, the situation is very tense. Soon after these killings, uh, you know, clash erupted in many areas. Internet service has been blocked in South Kashmir, train service between Srinagar and Banihal has been suspended. Uh, there's spontaneous shutdown in Pulwama, there are clashes, hospitals are, you know, filled with the injured, they are being rushed to various hostels. It's chaotic situation what we are getting from that area. Uh, you know, encounters is not a new thing and the security force say, always say that they have a SOP, they have a set drill, how to deal with the encounters and also law and order situation. They keep the security cordon area, the encounter site, and then they keep a law and order column also who are, you know, but here what we see, uh, there's, you know, security force just resorted to firing, indiscriminate firing on the on civilians who are protesting or according to police, they were throwing stones and then killing seven civilians. And as, as local reports suggest that 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 toll may go up. 
a number of people are injured and uh, they have been rushed to various hospitals in Pulwama, in Anantnag, in Srinagar. And just while back, you know, one of the injured who died in Sri, who uh, rushed here, who died in Srinagar, SMH hospital. Really chaotic situation. But the question is, will there be some inquiry? Will That's there right. be some responsibility be fixed? But in the past, we have seen whenever civilians are killed, not even inquiry is being ordered not even you know to see what went wrong so that the such incidents are prevented in future even that exercise is needed that is why there's alienation there's no trust of with the system that is why there's huge you know trust deficit in the valley whenever That's civilians right. are killed nobody is actually being held accountable questions are rather being raised what were they doing we are the encounter side that's always the question Thank you so much, Nazir, for giving us all those details. We will closely keep tracking the updates on this incident. Uh